Uh, my name's Mr Gill, I'm the head of English here at Bella York Academy and I'd just like to take a couple of minutes to talk to you about the GCSEs coming up for your students and the revision um, that I think is going to be imperative to them uh, passing this. Um, so it's important at first that we understand how the GCSEs is broken down. In English we actually deliver two GCSEs. Um, we have one in language and one in literature. Uh, within both are two separate exams. Language uh, is broken down into fiction and non-fiction and literature will bro be broken down into our key texts, which are Christmas Carol, Blood Brothers, Romeo and Juliet, and then they'll do a section on poetry as well. Um, ideally, revision is about trying to actually act. Now, I think a lot of students get bogged down in English about creating nice, pretty revision resources, uh, mind maps, knowledge organisers, and then the bit that's missing, we find, is actually using those things to revise, so embedding that in long-term memory. So I'm going to give you just a couple of different tips, or different things you can do to make sure that your children are genuinely getting the best out of revision and not just spending their time doing things that make them feel like they've done something good. Um, and I'll explain what I mean. So firstly, um, I think if it comes down to language, any reading is going to be massively important. Um, any highlighting, any active reading, and what I mean by that is they need to be underlining, they need to be identifying techniques that they've learned in their lessons, they need to be practicing that method which they'll be needing in the actual exam. From that, they can then create their own set of answers based around the questions which we'll have already provided them. So they'll know that, they'll know how that works, and they'll be able to use that at home all the time. Now the nice thing about that is it's flexible, it doesn't have to be out of a book, doesn't have to be paid for, it can literally be any newspaper article they can pick up, it can be anything online they've seen, it can be something that they're interested in and help them engage. So that works for both sides of language actually, just massive amounts of exposure to age appropriate reading will absolutely revolutionise the way they see that. Um, that is just a case of rinse repeat. On the literature side, uh, this is where we tend to get a lot of time wasting, this is where people like to do mind maps, they like to write down all the information they know about it, that's actually not a very effective way of revising. The most effective way that I would say was revision cards. That's where a very small amount of information, like a name on one side, and on the other side you would then have key quotations, key bits of information they want to remember. They can't get stuck at just creating them though. They have to use them. So once they've been created, they would then have to organise time in their week where they know they're going to sit down with parents, carers, siblings, friends, and be quizzed on those things, which hopefully then will embed them in the long-term memory. Remembering those quotations, remembering the key information about the text actually gives them a lot of confidence and it's that confidence we find is really important in the exam. Revision isn't just about memory, it's about walking into that exam knowing that you know what you're going to say and that's half the battle for us. If we can overcome a bit of that um, anxiety around the exams and the difficulty of going in there, we tend to see the students excel. Um, any questions? My name's Jonathan Gill, get in touch at the school. Um, other than that, best of luck.